Good morning guys, today we're going to take a look over the DO10 by Ionix and the MW600 by Milwaukee. So the DO10 on this side here is an optical DO meter, slightly different functionality to a colleague graphic sensor. So basically these ones use fluorescence to take their readings, makes it a little bit easier in terms of calibration, maintenance and those kind of things because you're not looking to have to replace a membrane or the electrolyte filling solution. So in general, with a meter such as this, you only need to replace the sensor cap on a yearly basis and calibration is much simpler. On an instrument such as this, uh, you need to uh, replace your membrane and your electrolyte filling solution and calibration is a little bit more complex. So we'll just run through the calibration procedure on the Milwaukee and then I'll show you the one on the Ionix just to show you the difference in terms of a time frame. So to do the Milwaukee one, the best procedure is to do an open air calibration. To do that, you take off your electrolyte uh, field cap and expose the cathode. Basically, when that's removed, it should be showing 0.0. .0. If it's not, you adjust it using the screw down the base. The next step is to fill your membrane with the electrolyte filling solution. When you do this, just ensure there's no air bubbles because that will give you incorrect readings. So once it's filled, just give it a good tap just to make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Then you place the cap over the top and screw it on securely. Once that's on, you'll notice your reading jumping up. So what we'll do is we'll let that stabilize for about five minutes. Now that that's been sitting for approximately five minutes, we'll just go through and do the 100% calibration. So basically to do that, you just hit the cow button. As you can see, currently it's a 127, so we want to adjust that down to 100%. It is quite a touchy screw, so just do it slowly. So once that is at 100%, just release the cow button. It'll take you back to your reading. Now this is our correct reading for our height above sea level here. So provided we don't change location, as long as when we turn the meter on, that value is matching what we have calibrated it to, the meter's ready for use. So now that one's all good to undertake your readings. Now in terms of the DO10, it's a much easier procedure. So as long as this calibration sleeve has a slight amount of moisture in it, you can do 100% calibration. And that's all you need to do, as you don't need to do a zero oxygen calibration unless you replace the sensor cap, uh, as it's factory calibrated to 0%. So to do that, you just power on the meter, ensure that that calibration sleeve's been on there for about five minutes with a slight amount of moisture in there before you do it. Leave it for a couple of seconds just to stabilize. Once it's stabilized, hit the cow button. We'll flash up with calibration. Hit the enter button, it'll calibrate it to 100% and you're ready to go. So as you can see, the difference between the two uh, in terms of their calibration procedures is quite immense. Um, this one's also really good for lower value or lower uh, flow samples, uh, whereas this one's better when you've got a flow or a larger sample. Um, so both of them are good units. This one obviously reduces your maintenance and downtime along with uh, being simpler to calibrate, uh, whereas this one is obviously lower cost. So both are good options, but if you do have any questions about either option, please feel free to give us a call on 1300 737 871 or email us at custom-service at instrumentchoice.com.au.